Welcome to FEA Personal Fitness. Um, we are so excited to have you here, and today we're just going to go over kind of what the course is going to look like in a general overview. So when you first log on to It's Learning, you're going to go to Courses, and then you're going to go to your personal fitness course. Mine's going to look a little bit different than yours. So when we um, go to the initial overview page, there's going to be a planner right here. This is where I would say to, to work on all of your work for the unit um, because it's really easy the way it steps you through. Um, but there's a couple different places you can go to for your resources. So you can go to your planner. As you can see, it organizes it this way, the lesson, the date, description, resources and activities. Um, you can also go to just your resource page. And this is going to look like kind of uh, if you used It's Learning before the newest update, it's got the tree over here, um, so you can click through and look. A typical unit is going to be two weeks long and will be broken up into part one, which is due on the first week, and part two, which is due in the second week. Um, everything is always due on Wednesday. Uh, unit one is the only exception because we're starting on a Monday and it will be due the following Wednesday. So not the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, not like three days, but on the 15th of August, it will be due. Um, and then we go into two week units. So um, after that, for uh, each unit, I'm going to go to unit two to show you. Each unit is going to have a weekly activity goal. That weekly activity goal is 50,000 steps a week. Um, so what we're really wanting you to shoot for is Monday through Friday getting 10,000 steps a day. But um, we'll just be looking at it for the week. And so it will be 50,000 steps for that week. Um, if you have anything else going on, you can also add that to your um, fitness log. And in that fitness log, you're just going to log um, any extra things you're doing. So if you're swimming or you're biking or you've got football practice or baseball practice, um, gymnastics, you can add that to it. Um, and so we're looking for you to log four workouts a week um, on that fitness log. Each week you're going to have a discussion post. All discussion posts are a one plus three, which means that you will have one initial post that you make, and then three times you're going to comment on other classmates' posts. Um, and then you're going to typically have an article to read, slotted notes, um, quiz. So on the quiz, you're just going to be looking straight from that article you read. You're going to have a video and a quiz on that video. You're going to have a weekly exercise movement. Um, so for that weekly exercise movement, you're going to focus on one movement. So for unit two, it's squats. So you're going to watch a video about squats. And then for your task eight, you're going to submit your own video. In your own video, each time, each week, you're going to do five proper, whatever that movement is for the week. So for this one, it's squats. Um, five proper squats. We want to see multiple angles of those squats. Um, so you can either move the camera or you can move yourself so that we can see like a front facing and a side facing. Um, and then you're going to say three cues. Um, so these cues you're going to get from the video you watch, and it's just things to remember as you're squatting or push-up or burpees, whatever you're doing. So, for example, for squat, it may be keep your feet shoulder width apart. So that would be considered one cue. Um, so you just want to make sure you turn this in. The only thing we're adding to here that's not listed is um, each unit will ha also have a Nearpod. Um, so a Nearpod is something the county just purchased, um, and I will there'll be a tutorial on that and stuff. So that will be added to each of the units also. Um, so, but I just want to get kind of give you a general overview with everything, whether it's your weekly activity goals or your movement studies. I just want you to make sure that you contact your teacher if you're having any issues, um, because it's just really important to be proactive and communicate and advocate for yourself. So just make sure if you run into any issues or questions or um, things that you want to ask about that you make sure you ask your professor. So how do you do that? How do I contact my teacher? I can go over here to Messenger and contact my teacher that way. You can email your teacher. Um, those are the two main ways. Your teacher will also be communicating, if I go back to the overview page, 
through the bulletins over here to give really general class um, announcements. Um, so you might want to check those out each time you log on. Over here on you is your task section, and that may just be the task that you have due that week. Okay, the other thing that's going to be um, slightly different is on the planner page, so this first initial page, um, the overview page, you're going to hit the start button. I love using this to start from. I'm going to hit start. They're going to have a really general description of each unit. You're going to have it broken down by tasks, so how many tasks you have in this unit. So this is, for example, unit one. And then this is going to be the video that you're actually watching right now. Um, and then lastly, you'll have a learning pathway. So what's a learning pathway? What a learning pathway is, is it allows you to break those tasks down. So if you have seven tasks in a unit, um, you can't get to task two without completing task one. So when I hit this start button, it's going to show me how to post in a discussion. Now, this is just simply something that you're going to watch or look at. So I can click through here. Da, 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 da. Once I am looking at it, it will open up task two for me. So you can see it's over here on the left. I'm not quite ready to look at it, so I'm just going to close this box out. I'll be able to look through this these videos, my discussion post tips, and then I can go over back here over to the left, click on task two, and then I'm actually given a quiz. Um, for this quiz, it says you can take it as many times as you like in order to obtain the score that you desire. So I would just start the test here, and then after I finish with the test, as long as I score to 70 or better, task three would then open up. Now the good news is, say I just want to do task one and task two today, I can close this up, and when I come back to it later, so I can access it through my planner, or I can ask, access it through my resource. I'm just gonna get it through my planner here, so I'm gonna go to unit one learning path. I'm just gonna say resume, and then it just lets me go right where I left off. So those pathways are just gonna make sure that you're getting all the information to you before you even start what you need to start. Um, that's about it. The only other things on the It's Learning page that you might have to access is the Google Drive. Um, one of the main ways that we um, submit assignments is through your Google Drive, um, which that will be explained to you in Unit 1. Um, so that's a way to turn in and get to your information. Other than that, um, that should be a great general overview and a good start to what you need. Um, please ask your teacher if you have any questions. And we're hoping for a great semester. Have a great day. Thanks, guys.